I'm Danny Gasparini, and welcome to this segment of Penn Voice. I'm joined today by Juan Acosta, who's the director of Draper University. Juan, thanks for joining me. Thank you. It's a I've pleasure. Um, been so excited to have um, someone from Draper University um, come and talk to us on the program. I've actually had the pleasure of visiting the site in San Mateo, um, and it is amazing. So before we just let me continue to go on about it, tell our viewers a little bit about um, the mission vision of Draper University. Great. So Draper University started six years ago. Um, it was started by Tim Draper. Uh, very famous venture capitalist, yes. um, third generation VC actually. His grandfather was one of the very first investors in Silicon Valley. And Tim has done very successful, or has been very successful uh, in the venture space, investing in companies like Skype, Baidu, um, Tesla, uh, Hotmail, all the big ones that you've probably heard of. And six years ago, he thought, well, how do we create more superheroes for the world? Founders like the ones that I've backed before, uh, how do we create more of that to solve real problems for the world? So he decided to create this awesome space in San Mateo called Draper University. Uh, and I would think of it as a pre-accelerator. We see people from all around the world uh, with ideas as well as businesses, and we accelerate them in a period of five to seven weeks. Um, we accelerate them as people, we accelerate them uh, in terms of their startups, uh, and we bring them from all over the world. We ignite the entrepreneurial spirit. That's really our mission. Right. So tell us a little about who is your applicant to get into. And, and I should say, when we use the word university, mm -hmm. um, it kind of gives us this um, very formal idea that it's a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior class, uh -huh. right? It's a four-year <laughs> program. And so thank you for that explanation, that it is very accelerated mm -hmm. and it's very focused. Mm -hmm. So tell us who might be excited to enroll at Draper University and why? Yeah, um, unlike traditional universities, like you mentioned, we don't have professors, you know, instead of teaching history, what Tim always says, we teach the future, right? Uh, right? So nobody will ever speak there for more than a few hours. Uh, we don't have textbooks that they open up and homework assignments. We approach education in a completely different way. In fact, the applicants, as you asked, most of them are average age is 26, 27 years old. They come from all around the world. So usually they've graduated college already. Some of them even have PhDs. Uh, and this is the first time that they want to start some sort of venture. And what better way to to do that than to learn from the best in Silicon Valley. So they come here from all over the world. 70% of them are international. Um, we have over 77 different countries. Uh, in this batch currently that we're running, we have 22 different countries, uh, 80 entrepreneurs, and they're living at Draper University for five weeks. Right. Um, so that's usually you know, the, the, the demographic that we target. Um, they've already graduated. They're starting their first venture. Some of them already are on their second venture. Uh, uh, but that's usually around the, the age that we Can see. Can you tell us a little bit um, about any of the success stories that you would yeah. like to, to tell us about? Absolutely. When Tim started this, it all started as an experiment. Mm -hmm. uh, so he, was, he wasn't even sure what was going to happen. Right. Right. Uh, but it turned out to be an awesome experiment. We've had uh, many success stories. We have over 321 active companies globally. They've raised over 220 million uh, in venture funding. Um, w one of the, the success stories that comes to mind, for example, is Patrick Dai. He's one of our alums. Uh, he is from China and he started uh, Qtum, which is one of the largest blockchain projects in China and in the world uh, right now. Um, another one, for example, in our pilot class, actually. So the very, very first class we ran, her name is Serbi. Uh, she came in with a startup, uh, and she's been running it for the past few years. And about three months ago, if I'm not mistaken, she sold that company for $275 million, uh, And it's a healthcare uh, or a health tech uh, kind of company. Right. And so, you know, it, it just goes to show you that Tim being in the um, venture world, high risk, high reward, mm -hmm. right, um, puts that application into um, the kind of school or university that Draper University is. So if I, if I break it down, um, individuals find out about the university, they have an idea, right? It's, it's really this sort of idea accelerator. So whether it's a product, it's a service, it's an app, it's something, um, they apply and they're accepted. 
right? right? So they apply online. We have a, an extensive interview process. Right. So they video chat with our admissions. Um, then we see all the applicants ourselves. We see what they're thinking. Uh, and we, we want to spot that entrepreneurial spark, that right. they have a little bit of that and a vision to kind of change the world. Um, and then we bring them in. Uh, with 80 other entrepreneurs that they that they get to live with. So they start their, their five weeks with a cohort mm -hmm. of 80 individuals or 79 other individuals. Um, is there a set curriculum and then there's lab work when they get to start working on their own designs, their own concepts, their own individual ideas? Got it. So we're unlike the traditional university, okay. so our teachers are actual CEOs, uh, venture capitalists, industry experts from all around Silicon Valley and sometimes from the world. We bring them in. So I'll give you an example. Last session, we had the founder of Pandora, founder of Reddit, founder of um, Starbucks, mm -hmm. one of the founders of Starbucks. Uh, so those were the people teaching our students, right? Uh, so it's a very... Um, and it's a good environment to ask questions, to really see what they went through as entrepreneurs creating right. these big companies uh, and learn from that. So it's very practical. At the same time, we bring in workshops, you know, how to lean methodology, how to build startups, how to iterate, how to build products. Um, and we do that in a very short amount of time. Now we do f um, have segments, right? So we, the first week, for example, it's all about vision and future. So how to think bigger, how to think 20 years out and build something now that will impact the world 20 years out and that'll survive 20 years out, right? right. We're, we're helping them think what we call 10X. We're helping them think about the future. If they're gonna go into entrepreneurship, might as well build uh, something that impacts the world uh, and that changes lives. So that's part of the first week. We have another component, for example, where we teach them how to incorporate. So it's a legal and, and money component or how to raise venture funding. We have our own venture capital um, or our venture fund inside the school where we get to invest in some of these projects. Um, and then we have a, a really cool segment called Survival Week where we take them out to a remote area mm -hmm. and they're trained by military leaders. And the whole point of that is how to become a better leader, how to work in teams, how to survive a lot of things that will come at you when you're an entrepreneur. So you mentioned before the segment um, this word that it really gave me a different idea than what it actually is. And you talked about an ecosystem, creating a global ecosystem um, inside and outside of the university. Give our viewers a little bit of a definition of that. Yeah, absolutely. So it's not just about education. Right. Uh, Tim has really- Or how to take a product to market. Right, right. right. It's about uh, having the right resources, the right connections, mentors, uh, money available mm -hmm. to you. So Tim, over the past 30 years, has created a huge ecosystem, one of the biggest ones. I would say it's probably the biggest venture uh, ecosystem uh, globally. Uh, and it's called the Draper Venture Network. There's 22 venture capital firms all over the world that are connected by this one back office. Uh, and that's part of the ecosystem. So anywhere in the world you go, there's probably a Draper related venture firm uh, with mentors, with advisors, with people willing to help. So in fact, a lot of our students go through our pre-accelerator or Draper University. And when they go back to their countries, they start building their products in maybe six months or a year from then, then they reach out to these networks that we have all over the world. So what's the purpose of that? Is that to take something that was high risk and lower the risk? Because if you do this pre-eco work, if you do this global work, by learning from mentors and learning about mistakes that happened in the past, you're more likely to then bring your service, your product, your idea, your vision to fruition? Yeah, I think, um, so Tim back then, I don't think he was thinking about the university itself mm -hmm. when he created the ecosystem. It right. was more of a, how do we capture a opportunities global you know, globally? Mm -hmm. What's great about it is that because we have that layer there, uh, our students are more confident that they have the right resources and networks. Um, I've, you know, last year we traveled to a few different countries where the ecosystems, the startup ecosystems are very small. Uh, people don't have access to mentors. People don't have right. access to education, how to build products. Right. And having this ecosystem itself helps our entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs globally uh, tap in into uh, great resources. So uh, we have about 30 seconds left, okay. and I'm so sorry because I, I think we could both go on yeah. a long time about this, but what's that one thing that you want to make sure that your community here in San Mateo County, since the school's located in San Mateo, that you leave them with about your program? Great, yeah. I think the biggest thing is, yes, we focus on startups. We focus on uh, helping people think bigger, 
but I truly think that we are very transformative in the lives of every entrepreneur that comes through our building. Right. Um, and what I mean by that is that their emotional intelligence is way higher when they leave the program, right. uh, that they go and are more empathetic with people around the world that start looking at big problems uh, globally. Um, so they come here for five weeks, they learn from the very best uh, from this ecosystem and they go out to the world. We have people starting big companies, we have leaders in big organizations, and even students that have gone into governments and changing right. governments uh, within, uh, so innovating in, in that regard also. Um, so I think we change people, we help them think bigger, uh, and we really you know, help them get over their obstacles and, and, and really open up a, a huge right. amount of opportunity for them. That well, they, and they especially know. in their own community, when they go back to their country or their community, they're changing and impacting lives there with their development of whatever it, it is, an idea, a product, a changing of government, a changing of a vision. Um, that they're going back and enriching their, their community and their country as well. So thank you so much, Juan, yeah, for bringing us um, to uh, a visual tour of <laughs> Draper University. And um, we give Tim our best regards for um, choosing San Mateo County as to locate thank you so um, much his for university. Having us. Thanks so much, all of you, for joining us on Penn Voice, and we'll see you next time.